Well, hello everybody. Uh, talking to you here from the mountains of Western North Carolina in a little town called Hayesville. We're in the mountains here, and and we too are feeling the effects of the day we're in. But we're excited because we know the kingdom of God is advancing. I want to share something that happened to me the other day. I had a visitation in the middle of the night, and uh, just a few nights ago, and I came out onto my porch. And uh, as I was sitting on the porch, the, I all of a sudden felt a rumble and a shaking. And um, <clears throat> when I, I, I was just, it was kind of disturbing, as a matter of fact. And all of a sudden, I, I was seeing things in the Spirit, and, and I could feel the presence of the Lord. And I saw a whole bunch of, like, structures just fall to the ground, and dust was going everywhere. And I was, like beside myself actually like wondering wow this is uh this is something and as the as the dust settled a little bit i could see these little like structures these little i don't know these little pillars and they were they were standing they weren't affected they were standing pretty strong small compared to what had just fallen all around us and uh, and as the dust settled i began to see more and I and the, the Lord, I felt the Lord ask me. He said, "He said, son, what do you see?" And I said, "I see these little structures that are still standing." And I said, "Wow!" I looked around. I said, "Yeah, I just that's what I see." And I saw many of them, more as the dust settled. <clears throat> and while they were set, while it was settling, each each one of those pillars began to illuminate began to light up and get really bright and then another one would get bright and then and then they got so bright that the light from them zipped and touched another one whose light was zipping to touch themselves and pretty soon you were seeing these patterns these streams of light like brilliant uh beams cross crisscrossing to the point that it got so thick it became one light and as that light illuminated I, it was so powerful that the light was so bright that it made me notice how dark it was around it, like the you know the, all the area. But the light, the the light just kept on getting brighter, and that darkness could not touch that light. It couldn't touch it at all, and I, I, I kept seeing that just growing and growing. Anyway. What was really remarkable is that it looked like, it felt like that darkness was trying to penetrate it and it couldn't. So as I was sitting back, the impression that I got, and I, I had to write this down because I, I don't remember visions and things too well. And uh, I, I, ran, I reviewed this with an apostolic friend of mine, a dear friend that I've known for, oh gosh, it'll be, it's at least 20, 28 years maybe now. And... Um, just to, to help me process all this and as I was but as I the impression I got as I was seeing the this these structures and the light and from the shaking and everything going on I couldn't help but think about the pattern of the early church and how in the early church those that were really empowered like the the apostles and and uh, and how how the, the the structure was set up they were going from church you know, uh, they would go from household to household, but they would they would preach the kingdom of God, and then each day they were being added to, and the households were becoming strengthened, and then one household would would talk to another household, and I couldn't help but see the pattern of the early church and what I was seeing, and <clears throat> I was so I was like, wow, that's that's a that's a real that's a real touching to my spirit. But then I, I saw something and I could, I, I started remembering about the, the scripture in Haggai. And in Haggai chapter two, verse six through nine, what does that say, Nancy? You have that one for us? Two, six, through, and this is Nancy. For thus says the Lord of hosts, once more, in a little while, 
I am going to shake the heavens and the earth, the sea and the dry land. I will shake all the nations, and they will come with the desirable and precious things of all nations. And I will fill this house with glory and splendor, says the Lord of hosts. The silver is mine. The gold is mine, declares the Lord of hosts. The latter glory of this house will be greater than the former, says the Lord of hosts. And in this place I shall give the ultimate peace and prosperity, declares the Lord of hosts. I couldn't help but go to that scripture. And all of a sudden, it was like as I was reading that scripture, it was... And especially out of the Amplified, it was like that. I could feel that shaking again. I could see everything happening at one time. The the the, the falling of all these like st structures, like mountains almost, and then these little structures remained, and they started to light up and begin to light up each other. And pretty soon, you know it, it was one light, very brilliant, that the darkness had no power, none whatsoever. So after sensing the pattern of the early church and then reading that scripture I felt the Lord show me some things and he put some questions to me and this is the heart of what I want to say to you my friends I just want to give you the questions that he gave to me you have the Spirit of God in you you are blessed you are you are wise I I, I miss you dearly and I've learned uh, I've learned so much from each each and each one of you and I trust the Spirit of God in you. So as the Spirit, as, as I ask these questions, I ask for the Spirit of wisdom and revelation to rest on you, that you would, that He would open up more of our eyes, because we all need a deeper understanding in the day we're in. I need to know what He's speaking to you. I need to know. So I'm putting these questions out to my friends around the world, the questions that were put to me. I have no desire to answer them, just to put the questions out so that we're considering and letting him open up the eyes because he's the one that reveals truth. Just like Jesus said to Peter when he said, you're the, when Peter called him this, yeah, you're the son of Christ when asked. And Jesus said, I didn't reveal that. Flesh and blood didn't reveal that, but my father in heaven. So that's what I ask over you. That's what I trust is on you. That's what I proclaim over you. So <clears throat> here was the question he asked me. I said, Lord, what is all this? And he said to me, look around you. Now, I was looking at the works and the things we do and, and, and things I'm involved in, just the, the works. He knows my heart towards him. He says, look around you. What do you, and here it is, what do you still see standing in this very day? Today is March 20th. In the next couple of days, we're going to still be able to ask the same question. What do you still see standing? What do you still see functioning? Even thriving. That which on its own is still operating, still functioning. That we don't have to prop up or pay a whole lot of attention. It is just happening. What is still functioning? What is still standing? <clears throat> I said, Wow. And he said, look around you again. And I said, okay. He said, son, do you see anything being dismantled? And I went, whew. Now this was, I didn't want to ask this question, but my apostle friend who I have covenant relationship with, he's the one that put, put it in me. And I said, no, oh, that was actually there. And I was thinking about Jeremiah, that he actually had the word to tear down and build up. And that I just looked at it and I said, okay, what is being dismantled? Because I have to, there are things that he's showing that, okay, I guess I have to let go, let go. I trust you. Are there things being dismantled? And the good news is, and this is my encouraging heart, if they are, he's, <laughs> that means something's going to be built up. That's the word of the Lord. That's his pattern. And then when we read, when we read that, and that was in Haggai of the latter the latter church what does that mean what does the glory of the latter church look like compared to the former I almost want to ask it this way what is the glory of the church in front of us 
is going to look like compared to the church just a few days ago was operating. How? We know the Holy Spirit is in us, but these are days to be honest with ourselves. What is the latter, what is the church in the latter, what is the glory of the latter church? What is it going to look like? These are hard questions, but they, they meant to stir us up. And there's no condemnation in it. It is for you to consider, us to lay everything on the altar and say, okay, if it's shaken, it goes away. Okay, if it's burnt, okay, you know these things. And here's, here's the, the last question of this part. What do you see before you that requires my hand, the Lord's hand, and trust in him, in the Lord, to build? So, based on the Lord, I ask it again. What do you see before you that requires his hand and trust in him to build? In other words, it's not just our ideas. It's no more. It's an actual, in order to see these lights that were burning these, from these small structures, it were just happening. It was like the light was building it. And this is something to consider for opening up our hearts to revelation. The glory. What is the glory of the, <laughs> the ladder, the house of the, <laughs> the glory of the ladder house compared to the, form, to the former? Then I, I sat and I was trying to ponder this. And I said, Lord, this is, this is like overnight stuff that's happening. And, uh, you know, he reminds me that when he moves, it's a suddenly. It's a suddenly. And we're either ready for the suddenly or, or we're not. I, I'm not going to preach, but... We either move on with him or we try to pull back the old. It's either way. But I'm, I, and I'm not suggesting that. It's what is still standing. The questions have to be answered. So I, I say to this now uh, that as I was, I was sitting there, he, asked, he started bringing the words of the prophet Isaiah to me. First, he brought the, he brought the, the, um, the, the, the words of, of Amos in chapter 9 and I, I, I started thinking about that too and in chapter 9 verse 11 and I, I he then asked me the same question son what do you think this means it's and this is verse 11 of, of Amos chapter 9 it says in that day will I raise up the tabernacle of David the fallen hut or booth and close up its breaches and I will raise up its ruins, and I will build it as in the days of old. And I couldn't help but go back and go, wow, do I remember the early church when I've seen those lights? That's Amos chapter 9, verse 11. What do you think that means? Then he asked me, what do you think this passage means? It's Isaiah 42, verses 8 through 10. I submit it to you. What do you feel this means? I am the Lord. That is, that is my name. My glory I will not give to another, nor my praise to carved idols. Indeed, the former things have come to pass. Now I declare new things. Before they spring forth, I proclaim them to you. Sing to the Lord a new song. Yes. Sing his praise from the end of the earth. You who go down to the sea and all that is in it, you islands and coastlands and those who inhabit them, sing his praise. Amen. Amen. That's Isaiah chapter 42, verses 8 through 10. What, is, what does that mean to you? Then he brought me to just the next chapter. He says, son, what does this passage mean to you? I submit it to you also. And that's Isaiah 43, verses 18 through 21. And this was something I could feel the Spirit of the Lord saying to me, son, listen. And then listen, listen deep. And what does this mean to you? Do not remember the former things or ponder the things of the past. Listen carefully. 
I am about to do a new thing. Now it will spring forth. Will you not be aware of it? I will even put a road in the wilderness, rivers in the des desert. The beasts of the field will honor me, jackals and ostriches, because I have given waters in the wilderness and rivers in the desert to give drink to my people, my chosen, the people whom I formed for myself will make known my praise. Yes. Wow. Will make known your praise. Oh my gosh. Wow. My friends, I hope I talk to every one of you soon. I submit these questions to you to go over it. That last passage is Isaiah 43, 18 through 21. And I know by the Spirit of the Lord, many of you already have these questions in mind. Because he's going to reveal, you'll see his glory in what he's building. And we'll start building that. His kingdom is advancing. And I, I want to, <laughs> you guys remember, I know you all remember, I'm a trumpeter, right? And so before... Um, before I go, I want to I want to read one last scripture to you and then do it. And it's in Psalms 47, and I want you to join in with this. Psalms 47 verses 5 through 9. And I'm going to read this in the in the amplified. Okay? I like uh I like the, the King James. It says it starts out with God goes up with a shout, the Lord with the sound of the trumpet. He actually, it's actually true. In the Amplified, it says God has ascended amid shouting. Yeah. Amen. The Lord with the sound of a trumpet. Sing praises to God. Sing praises. Sing praises to our King. Sing praises. <laughs> For God is the king of all the earth. Sing praises in a skillful psalm and with understanding. God reigns over the nations. God sits upon his holy throne. The princes and nobles of the peoples are gathered together, are they not? A united people for the God of Abraham. For the shields of the earth belong to God. He is highly exalted. So I say this. You can hold this here. That God goes up with a shout. The Lord with the sound of the trumpet. You be blessed. You ready to let up the sound? Yeah. 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 Ready? Yeah. yeah.